Hey guys, welcome to the second foundation road test. Today I'm looking at Hourglass Hyaluronic Illusion Skin Tint. This does have SPF of 15 in it. It does have a chemical and physical sunscreen in it. I have sensitive skin and I have used this in the past a little bit. I have not had problems with it. This retails for $56 at Sephora. It's a pricey little skin tint for one ounce of product. There are 12 shades. It's nice and portable and lightweight, which I like. I appreciate because I do travel sometimes and I like something that's not going to crack or break and it's not heavy. Hourglass claims that there is advanced technology in here to promote the appearance of a smoother, firmer, more youthful complexion and that it will pump, it will plump fine lines, wrinkles, and tighten the appearance of sagging skin and deliver an unbelievably luminous glow. It is supposed to hydrate and firm with a luminous finish that evens out skin tones, softens imperfections, and boosts moisture levels. So the consistency is more of a creamy whipped texture than it is runny, like a lot of the BB creams. Um, when I put it on the back of my hand, which you'll see in the demo, it doesn't run down the hand at all. Um, so that was a little bit unexpected, but it does cover pretty well. It's not full coverage. You can blend it up a little bit, but I did still need concealer. I'm not looking at it negatively because I need concealer with a skin tint. It, I'm looking at it to even out redness more than anything else. Hourglass recommends to use a foundation brush or your fingertips. They also say for best results to use an hourglass primer. I am going to add in a day where I use my fingers and use the primer on one side and don't use a primer on another. So I'm anxious to see if that works. I am not one that ever uses my fingers to apply any type of foundation. Maybe I'll start doing that for BB creams. I don't know. There might be some that would apply better with fingers. We'll see. I do have the skin tint on my face already, as you can see. I'm gonna rewind and show you the application with the Beauty Blender on this side and with a foundation brush on this side. And today is primer day, so I'm going to be using my primer. Um, I am also using my new foundation brush that I got from my Ulta haul, which I can link below. It is the IT Cosmetics for Ulta Velvet Luxe LED Foundation Brush number 302. I love this thing and I'm sad that I went so long using other foundation brushes. It applies like velvet and you can't even see where I have used it. it the foundation just does not get absorbed at all and it applies everything so quickly and without streaking at all. It's perfect. So it's my mini review of that. All right, so let's go to today's demo. First things first, got to have that coffee in the morning. Then I will start with my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, which I absolutely love. I'm going to pump that out on my finger, dot it on my face, and blend it in evenly. I love this primer. I've been using it for a long time now. This is my second bottle, and I'm going to keep using it unless I find something better. Hairs in my face. I've got to clip that back. It drives me crazy as my bangs are growing out. Perfect. Now I'm going to take the skin tint and pump some out on the back of my hand. You can see that thick texture right there. I'm going to spread it out a little bit and maybe some of the warmth will help it spread a little bit easier. Taking my damp beauty blender, I think that's enough that I'm getting on there. Just bouncing that damp beauty blender on the face, hoping that that spreads it out evenly. Hair's in the way again and just bounce bounce getting it all on there evenly and spreading it thoroughly on half of the face and I think it's looking pretty good it's spreading very easily and evening out the redness so I'm just gonna make sure that this coverage is adequate it looks like it is you can see the redness on that side it was gone on the other I did use a little bit more than I thought so I squeezed out a little bit more getting some on my it foundation brush and spreading it out across the other side of the face kind of in that same stippling bouncing motion and just getting it all even to where I like it and I think that that looks pretty good 
and just looking at it a little bit more closely. And now I am going to do the rest of my makeup with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder under my eyes and translucent powder on the face as well as my Benefit Erase Paste and Tarte Concealer that I love and the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and my makeup is finished. One thing I'm going to point out on the Beauty Blender side, which I find a little bit odd, where I applied my translucent powder, it kind of lifted off in a couple of spots when I applied it. I use a puff in a rolling motion. I learned that a long time ago from a friend of mine who's a makeup artist. And um, I don't know, I don't know how that's gonna do during the day. I didn't really notice it until I looked up close. So I'll see how this wears. Other than that, it looks really good. I only noticed that when I looked really, really closely in a magnified mirror. So it may do fine during the day. I don't know, we'll see. It looks pretty good from here. I'll talk to you guys at the first check-in. Okay, it's been about six hours, a little over six hours since application this morning. I'm just gonna come out and say that I am not liking the skin tint today so far with the primer. So hopefully the next few days are better than today, but I am patchy and splotchy and since about three hours in, I have been very shiny and I have been having to blot and I think you can probably see it there but it has worn away here and here. It has worn away on both sides of my nose right there and on my chin, it's red. And you can kind of see it kind of splotchy right there. I have to go to a beginning of the year parent thing for my son's high school in about three hours. And I gotta tell ya, I'm not really looking forward to being around a bunch of people that I know with a splotchy breakthrough shiny face. So. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Do I doctor it up? Do I go like this? The struggle is real. Um, I, gotta, I gotta think about this. I will check in a little later. Hey guys, primer day is over. I think you guys know what I'm going to say before I even say it, but if you look at my forehead and my nose and basically everywhere on my face, you can see the light reflecting in it. I am shiny. I have been blotting with blotting sheets and touching up with translucent powder today and nothing is keeping this shine away. So I'm not happy about that. I want to lean in, but the lighting is not that great in here at night. I do rely on a lot of natural light when I film. Usually I have big windows in here and at night I just don't have that natural light. So I do apologize that the lighting is not that great right now. It's broken up all in all the typical places. My forehead, beside my nose, right here on my nose, here and here. It's just broken up and it looks very splotchy and patchy. I also feel like after the first hour or so, it started looking like I was wearing foundation, which I know we all wear makeup, okay. But I just don't wanna have that heavy look. That's something that I just have never liked. I wanna look like I have good skin and that I don't wear a ton of makeup on it. I felt like it looked heavier than I like and it's a skin tint. So that kind of defeats the purpose of a skin tint if it looks like I'm wearing a foundation. I don't know. So there wasn't much that I liked about it today with a primer. I think I kind of figured out why I maybe used it two or three times and then stuck it in a drawer. And I think I probably didn't throw it away because it was $56 and I just couldn't bear to do it. Okay, so I am not going to show the demo again tomorrow because it's exactly the same as it was today except without a primer. I think I'm going to show another demo on the finger application day because it will be different than it was today. And I'll just try and speed through it as much as I can. And that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's day two of the foundation road test and it is about six and a half hours 
after initial application. I didn't check in right away because it pretty much looked the same as it did yesterday, but it was probably about three hours after application when I started not being super happy. I um, started noticing uneven breaking up on the foundation brush side on my forehead. It started looking very patchy and on the um, sponge side on the cheek it started looking patchy so it wasn't quite making sense and then um, I don't know I looked in the mirror about 30 minutes ago and it is just it's worn off in weird places around the nose around the forehead on the chin and it just looks like it's completely broken up already and it has been overly shiny I have looked just flat and not good so I don't know I'm just not real happy with the way it is wearing today so far I will give my final thoughts at the end of the day okay so no primer day is over and I am so glad because I am very ready to wash my face you know that feeling when you can just feel the makeup on your face I just could feel it on my face all day and I don't know why that is but there's something about this without a primer that just is not settling well with my skin I didn't have to blot a lot today which was nice I mean no more than normal but regardless of that I'm gonna lean in and hope that you can see here on my forehead it's settled into creases and it's worn away in between my brows and on the sides of my nose on my nose on my chin it's worn away very patchy too and you can kind of see a line of almost demarcation where my concealer ends and the foundation has worn away I am not really digging this illusion skin tint without a primer Again, using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer that I love and dotting it all over one half of the face and spreading it around evenly. I thought it would be beneficial to do another demo today since today's application is different than the first two days. Um, those days are pretty identical except for the elimination of a primer on the second day. And today it's going to be pretty much different from squeezing it out on my finger instead of the back of my hand and also dotting it on my face. I usually don't dot foundation or BB creams onto my face and so this is a little bit different for me and I did need a little bit more than I thought which was kind of a surprise. There's not any product being absorbed into a tool like a foundation brush or a sponge so I'm just continuing to spread it on evenly and making sure that it gets where it needs to be and that the coverage is good and covering up any redness and I did need a little bit more which surprised me and it's blending in nicely it feels good and there's good slip to it despite it being thick so moving on to the non primer side of my face and dotting it on it also slipped onto the skin and spread really nicely on that side of the face too. I'm not quite sure if I did have any dry patches if that would have been an issue. I, I think it probably would have. I just got that feeling from it because of the thick texture. But today it was good. And it did cover the red nicely so I'm good with that and it looks like we are ready to go. Okay, so I finished off with my concealer and translucent powder and the rest of my makeup and we will go about the day and see how this wears. Hey guys, just checking in at the seven hour mark. It has worn pretty well today as far as coverage goes, so that was a nice surprise. It's just slid off a little bit on the sides of my nose, which is not a huge deal. Um, I do feel it though. There's just this constant feeling of stickiness on my face. I just, I, I feel it. And when I blotted today, you could feel the blotting sheet peel off my face, which made me feel like I was peeling 
the foundation off, but I wasn't. It just felt that way. So it just feels kind of sticky and heavy, which I don't really like. Um, I have had to blot about four times, so I'm not really liking that. But that's the seven hour update and I will talk to you guys tonight. Okay, so the day is finally over and I can take all this off my face and be done. It has been a long day. It's been 12 hours after application and I've just had a really, really long day. So I am ready to be done with this. It's a finger application. I didn't really notice any huge difference from the primer side to the non-primer side. It wore pretty well throughout the day, but it was just super shiny and I just... I don't like that. I don't want to blot all day no matter how good it's looking and I can just feel it being sticky on my face. This is a pricey foundation. It is $56 and for that amount of money I feel like miracles should happen. It should be easy to apply. It should look beautiful all day long or at least half the day. I don't know. Call me crazy. Maybe I'm expecting a lot. I'm having a problem figuring out who would benefit from this. I feel like it got kind of splotchy and patchy quite often and to me that's going to emphasize any dryness someone may have on the cheeks, on the forehead. That's what I get in winter sometimes. And if your oily combination, I'm breaking through right now, you can see it, it's beyond dewy. I'll say that. And I feel um, like I'm the odd man out here because I feel like I've read a lot of good things about it and heard a lot of good things, but it just did not work for me and I gave it a good shot in good weather conditions and maybe you have to have the perfect weather and the perfect skin and then it will be the perfect foundation. I don't know how many of us have those conditions. I don't. I am just hoping that the next foundation road test will be more successful than this one. I hope this was helpful to you guys and that you liked it. And if you did, please thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys again. Thanks.